Hi everybody, welcome to another vlog. Today is Friday, August 18th. I did not record anything yesterday. I did not post anything yesterday. I'm not gonna lie, I felt kind of weird, but I'm back. So as you can see, I am doing another grocery haul. Um, I went to the store today and I bought a little more than I intended, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start showing you what I got for this week's, well, not just this week, for this carnivore haul is gonna last me quite a while. So I got two more packages of bacon. I didn't even eat the last two packages from my last video. I just wanted to have more bacon on hand for when I feel like having it. So now I have four or five packages of bacon. This is going to be in the freezer for a little bit. Yeah, I think it's four packages altogether. I bought four more pounds of ground beef, 80-20 ground beef. Um, I do have a couple of pounds in the freezer as well, but I've really been digging the taco bowls lately that I've been enjoying. So, and I might share that in a video sometime as well, but this is a really nice quick weeknight meal. I'm actually using a pound tonight for carnivore macaroni and cheese. Um, and I'll actually be doing a video on that as well. Uh, I'm really excited about that. So four more pounds, one is going to be used tonight one is going, or the rest are going to go in the freezer. Speaking of the cheese, macaroni and cheese, I got a pound of sharp cheddar and a pound of Monterey Jack. I'll be shredding these myself. I've never shredded my own cheese before, so I'm curious to see how the sauce will be compared to using pre-shredded cheese. Plus, I hear that pre-shredded cheese has like sawdust and stuff in it. I'm not sure how true that is, but I still don't, just want to, you know, try and see how this will be just for a different change of pace. Got more sour cream for my taco bowls because, again, I just can't get enough of these taco bowls lately. Heavy whipping cream for the macaroni and cheese recipe, plus any other recipes I may see fit. An eight ounce block of pepper jack cheese. And that's just for snacking whenever I want to have like a little couple pieces of cheese. I cut some off the block and eat that. Then I got a package of chicken breast tenderloin. This will make a good dinner wrapped up in some bacon and cooked in some butter, maybe topped with some cheese. Maybe some of that pepper jack cheese will get topped there. And then I also got a package of chicken thighs, mainly because those are a fattier cut of meat and they have really good flavor. There's a really uh, interesting recipe from Ketogenic Woman for apple cider vinegar braised chicken thighs that I'm looking to try. And I think that this package is gonna be put to use for that. I also got two packages of stew meat, slightly over a pound. I accidentally grabbed lean stew meat because I wasn't fully looking at the label. I was kind of in a hurry. For those of you who shop at Walmart, you know, you just want to get in and out and that's how I was today. So I got the lean stew meat on accident, but that's okay. I'm just going to cook this meat in butter to kind of help with the fat content. Also got another chuck pot roast. I bought three of them in my last haul had one a couple days later so I still have two more in the freezer so I got this one so I have three again because this was a really good price for it and these are a really good crock pot meal that lasts me two meals so I just had to get another one and just keep that in stock then I also got two packages of ribeye steaks again there was a they were a great price at my Walmart they were marked down so these are gonna go in the freezer and these will also make, I'll probably have two meals out of these, have like steak and eggs and bacon or something like that. Um, so these are probably gonna be four meals for me right here because they're big steaks. And like I said, with some eggs and some bacon, it's a great carnivore dinner. Lastly, I got a porterhouse steak because it was also a really good price. This will also be good with some steak and, e or not steak and eggs. It'll be good with some eggs and bacon is what I meant to say. So again, some great meals here. And I still have another package of steaks in my freezer, plus a package of eye of round thin steaks that I like to cook in butter and seasoned salt. So I'm gonna be shopping for my freezer. This will be my last grocery haul for a little while, just because as you can see, I have plenty of meat and I have plenty of meat in the freezer as well. So, I'm just set and I think if I just shop for my freezer, I could probably at least have meals for a month. We'll see how this goes. But all of this cost me about 158 and change. 
So just under 160. Again, I'm not spending tons of money when you think about how long this will actually last me. Um, I think it's pretty reasonable since it's all meat and it's all pretty good quality meat. I'd say, I'd say very good quality because I've never had any problems. I've never felt ill or anything. Some people say things about Walmart's meat. I've never had an issue. So with that being said, I just wanted to say thank you for watching the grocery haul portion of the video. Um, I hope that you got some good ideas for meat to buy. Check your local Walmart or your local grocery store for really good prices to see if you can find anything marked down and just buy it and toss it in the freezer. You don't have to use it right away. Freezing it and then saving it for a later time is also a helpful money saver. So definitely try and check that out. Um, anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in a little bit because we're going to be organizing a shelf in my office.